One of the questions from your assignments has to do with determining the total surface area and the total volume for the frustum of a pyramid. First of all, let's take a look at the formulas for the uh, surface area and the volume. We'll begin with the volume formula. The volume formula is given by one third times the one third times the vertical height multiplied by a one plus a two plus the square root of a one times a two and that would be the formula for the volume of a frustum of a pyramid that is a portion of a pyramid. A1 of course is the area of the bottom of the pyramid so we'll call that A1 and A2 is the area of the top and the square root of A1 times A2 would be added to that and it would be one-third times the uh, vertical height and so in this case the vertical height of the pyramid is a uh, frustum of a pyramid is given as 37 and a half the formula for the total surface area total surface area is given by s which is the lateral surface area plus the a1 plus the a2 and we'll discuss that in a moment but the lateral surface area is simply the sides and in this case there are four sides and we have the area of the top and the bottom as well for the a1 and the a2 values so let's begin by determining the area of uh, the volume. We'll start off with the volume formula. And for the volume, we have one third multiplied by the vertical height, which is 37.5, multiplied by the area of the bottom, which is 40 by 40, which is 1600, plus the area of the top, which is, um, is uh, 15 by 15, which is 225, uh, plus. Uh, the square root of 1600 times 225 and this will give you the volume in cubic units and again it's just a straight calculation now let's discuss the total surface area the total surface area is given as the lateral surface area plus the area of the top and the area of the bottom so in this case we're going to have the lateral surface area plus the 1600 uh, square unit base so that would be 1600 or 40 by 40 plus the 225 uh, square units from the top. So what we need to do now is to step aside and determine the the lateral surface area that is the the surface area around the uh, four sides of this uh, of this uh, pyramid, the frustum of pyramid. So what do we have for the four sides? Well, we've got uh, essentially what we have is four trapezoids, four trapezoids. Um, around the uh, four sides and the top of the trapezoid is 15 units the bottom of the trapezoid is 40 units and the uh, height of the trapezoids each of the trapezoids has a height and the height of the trapezoid is given as 39.5 units so 39.5 units you remember that the lateral surface area is the um, uh, in this case the lateral surface uh, lateral the slant height of the uh, of the frustum of pyramid is actually the vertical height of the uh, trapezoid once you flatten it out and so we've got um, uh, to, to determine the area of each trapezoid and the area of the trapezoid is given by a plus b divided by two that is the average of the top plus the bottom average of the top plus the bottom times the height and in this case we're going to have 15 plus 40 divided by two multiplied by the um, vertical height of the trapezoid which is 39.5 units and so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that area of that trapezoid and multiply it by four so let's put it all together we end up with the total surface area for the um, uh, frustum of this pyramid is equal to four multiplied by 15, uh, 15 plus 40 divided by 2 multiplied by 39.5 plus uh, the two, uh, the top and the bottom. So in this case it would be 1820, 1825 square units. And so the next calculation is a straight uh, calculation on your calculators.